Vengeance and to come. O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your Spirit. Spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Set aside, O Lord, the bond of sentence written for us by the law of sin, which in the Paschal mystery you canceled through the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of the disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men, filled with the Spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task, whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. Their proposal was acceptable to the whole community. So they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and with the Holy Spirit, also Philip, Procurus, Nicanor, Timon, Horminius, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread and the number of disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our responsorial song. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, Lord let, let your mercy, mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Exalt, you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the heart. With the ten-stringed lyre, chant his praises. Lord, Lord let, let your mercy be on us, as we place our trust in you. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Lord, Lord let, let your mercy be on us, as we place our trust in you. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Christ is risen, who made all things. He has shown mercy on all people. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you. When it was evening, the disciples of Jesus went down to the sea, embarked in a boat, and went across the sea to Capernaum. It was already grown dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea was stirred up because of a strong wind that was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near the boat, and they began to be afraid. But he said to them, It is I, do not be afraid. They wanted to take him into the boat, but the boat immediately arrived at the shore to which they were heading. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. 
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This morning, in my my prayer, I, I, I stopped again at that line. It is I, do not be afraid. And I asked myself again this morning, what am I afraid of? If Jesus is saying to the apostles, to me, do not be afraid, what am I afraid of? And as I thought about it, what popped into my mind is something that really does scare me. If you are keeping up with the news, uh, on the feast of St. Catherine of Siena, a group of very well-respected, well-known theologians and philosophers penned an open letter uh, to Pope Francis, basically uh, wanting clarification on some points that could possibly be heretical. Now this is not the first time uh, people have written to the Vatican and said we need clarification for what Pope Francis has said. There was a another uh, group, some cardinals, a couple of years ago that did the same thing. I'm just a country priest. I, I read as much about it as I can, tried to understand it as best as I could, but the thought was, these are guys and gals who do this stuff for a living. And my fear came, what if they're right? Because I don't I don't know enough about those issues that they were, were speaking, but what if they're right? That's what they what they do for a living. What does that mean? Well, if I might address with you the possibility, possibility, if it were right, what does that mean? Well, the church has always believed that uh, a pope, when speaking from the chair of Peter, in union with all the other bishops, priests, and people of the world, when he speaks ex cathedra, he speaks infallibly. And he speaks infallibly on issues of faith and morals. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there's only been two statements that are, quote, ex cathedra. The uh, Immaculate Conception and the Assumption of Mary. Those are the only two statements to my knowledge. Uh, I hope I am correct, but that's the ones that I remember. But on issues other can a pope be wrong? Yes, very much so. I could be wrong on issues. I'm not the pope, but just because I'm a priest, it doesn't mean that I uh, can't be wrong. If the pope would come out tomorrow and say, uh, the world is going to end in 12 years due to man-made climate change, and 12 years from now we're still here, we could say, aha, he was mistaken. But if the Pope comes out and says tomorrow that there are four people in the Trinity, now it's a quad ninety, uh, Jesus, uh, the Holy Spirit, God the Father, and uh, T-Boy, that they just call Bubba, then we probably go, well, no, no. Now, if we were to look at our history, has there ever been a time when a pope has held or allowed uh, or defended uh, beliefs that were heretical? If I'm not mistaken, it goes back to the 600s, probably one of the last times. A guy by the name of Pope Honorus the First, and uh, gosh, I 
think after his after he after he died. That's my that's where my mind is believing that it was after he died that they came out ecumenical councils and his successors who would later say after his death that he was you know anathema sit he was out because of the uh, heresies that he allowed or he taught. But what does it mean in the short time? Well, we believe that God's Holy Spirit will guide the church and that what the Pope will teach concerning faith and morals will not be heretical. <clears throat> that if he does say something or allow or allows something to be said or taught that is, we also believe that his successors councils or popes will come out and say, well, my successor, and we have a saying here in the South, uh, bless his little heart. And that would be kind of what they would say. My successor, bless his little, my predecessor, predecessor, bless his little heart. Uh, he was just a nice fellow, but here's what we believe. So, uh, I know it's not your typical homily, but there's a lot of people right now wondering because it's so daggum confusing. How do we as lay people, as just an average Joe priest, how do we understand our faith in light of the, all the current events that are going on? Uh, it gets really confusing and people get confused. Uh, I know I get confused a lot of times and I have to uh, read as much as I can so I can try to stay somewhat up to date. But the one thing that we could always fall back upon is our uh, creedal statements, belief in God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, that beautiful creed. We can hold fast to the catechism, what we know from the catechism. It's those things that we hold fast to our prayer life because I, I know this is going to sound a little naive, but maybe I am. I, I just really believe that people are a whole lot smarter than we give them credit for, myself too. We're a whole lot smarter than we give ourselves credit for. That if we hear a priest a bishop, a pope, if we hear a religious brother, a religious sister, a minister teach us something that we know deep down inside, that just doesn't seem to make sense. I think we have that sense of the faithful, senses to daily, that we can know, yeah, that, yeah, there's something wrong about that. Because I've experienced that myself when I sat on that side of the altar rail as opposed to this side. Let us pray that uh, God will <coughs> protect his faith. Let us pray for our Holy Father that, uh, you know, if, oh God, if it's true that he will adhere to the faith and if it's not true, that they will explain it to us poor people that so that we can understand what's going on and not be so confused. But let's just say a prayer. That's about all we can do. May Almighty God be with you. May He bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs> Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray for the Lord. 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 Yeah. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day. We remember those who watch this Mass on video and for you here present in our church. For all these needs from this one fat Catholic family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord. We pray for Carolyn Elam, for whom this Mass is being offered today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. 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 Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with the prayer of praise and honor of the Most Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God of Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As the Lord accepts sacrifice and treasure, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all the soul of the church. Sanctify graciously these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome a paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, host, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by putting down your spirit upon them like the default, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith when we eat this bread, bread and drink, drink this cup, we, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, <clears throat> until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the life of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the King, the power, and the glory of the Lord, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who saith to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord with you always. And with you as Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my heart, but I want to say the word in my soul. that they may see the glory that you gave me. Let us pray. 
We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael for our families. Holy Lord Michael, we are praying. Defend us in God. Be our protection and witness to the spirits of the devil. May God rebuke him when you will pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly House, by the divine power, trust in the devil, Satan, and all the other evil spirits, who wander through the world, seeking the will of the Amen. The divine praise and protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed, Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, through God and through man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the most sacred heart. Blessed be the most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of the soul. Blessed be the great mother of God, here in our soul. Blessed be our holy and conception. Blessed be our glory.